Right, today we're going to take a look at the brand new Knockpix Rico 2 series of thermal imaging scopes. So the Rico 2 is available in four different model options, which is the L42R, a 384 resolution unit, H50R and H75R, a 640 resolution unit, then the flagship S75R is a 1280 resolution unit. Obviously the 75s have got a 75mm focal length lens, as you can see on this image, the longest detection range of the model series, ideal for foxes. Right, packaging. As you can see, nicely branded packaging there displaying the Ricoh model. The packaging on the 75mm models is slightly different to the other two models purely because the unit is larger in size and it's supplied with a pelly case. You can see there there's a few different specifications for the S75R model and the H75R model and a nice graphic overlay of the unit itself. Flick that out the way and this is what you get when you open the actual packaging up. A nice robust weatherproof sealed durable pelly case makes the package look the business. So we'll open this up and show you what you get inside. So this is the H75R model, which is a 640 resolution unit. First of all, on the left hand side, you got your instruction manual there with a warranty card stating if you register online, you will get that extra year's warranty, bringing your warranty to four years warranty. So that's an industry leading warranty period for our region. Battery pack there, I won't open that, but you get two of these battery charger dock in this case you do get some uh, infrared thermal targets to allow you to uh, zero the device when you first get it you've got two cables in there a standard cable and a quick connect cable for the side of the unit and you get um, an eye cleaning cloth this is your recoil cup this is a magnetic style design very similar to what you got in the Rico models from Pulsar and it quickly attaches as so to the device pops off and you can just move it away I do like using a recoil cup daytime low light just to cut out any residual light getting in but you don't actually need it the eye relief on this thing is 70 millimeter really good eye relief on it so as you can see nicely finished packaging completes the finish of the unit so we'll close that and we'll go over what the product is like externally and specification. Lens is a metallic lens, really strong design. You can rotate that, but beware your LRF's on that side. You don't want to rotate it right round because you might block your LRF. Focus adjustment on the top. Really like these style of focus adjustments. You can make very small incremental changes of the focus. Buttons on the top, power button, you've got your LRF button, one press for your menu, quick menu, long press main menu, and then you've got your record button at the, side, at the rear there. Side, you've got a Weaver Picatinny rail, style rail at the side for any accessories you might want to fit. This is your quick charge uh, connector attachment. You can pull that out and just have a USB-C there if you want. If you don't want to use that, like I say, there's two cables supplied. You've got a nice Picatinny quick release mount here with two thumb levers there for attaching it and then you've got your really heavy duty springs in there either side that prevent any recoil going through the scope itself on the back you've got a smooth zoom ring now that's a really fine adjustment you can go in really small increments when you're zooming up or you can just move it really quick and you're right at your top mag a nice little slick feature that and that goes this is the H model so this is four times base magnification on the 75 the S model is three times base magnification. So it goes roughly to around from four to 32 mag. If you activate the picture in picture, that mag will be doubled again. And like I say, you can just quickly adjust as, as required. The back, you've got your diopter adjustment there. 2560 resolution eye display, a square style, really nice eye display, crisp icons, icons crisp reticules, and um, it just complements the actual lens and sensor combination gives you that much better image experience this side you do have a 1200 meter lrf sender receiver on the side 
and then you've got your battery system there as well so a nice quarter turn on that we'll just pop that battery out really slick to move out and pop pop back in push it back in quarter turn again and you're back in action so that is basically the Rico 2 long range Fox's dream 75 mil and what's good about these units is it's nigh on a 3,900 meter detection range on both models. Obviously, one's a 1280, one's a 640. The detection range is based on your focal length of your lens and your pixel pitch. So it doesn't matter what resolution it is. People say, oh, it's low base mag one, one's higher. It doesn't matter. Ignore them. It's all to do with the detection range. Like I say, S75's three base mag, H75's four base mag. The S75's got double the resolution a closer range but you retain that same detection range benefit is you're getting a wider field of view on your base magnification but you can still stretch right out for them long range shots but that does come at a premium for that hd sensor it's going to cost a lot more money so specification wise these units are 60 hertz now 60 hertz is top end specification wise silky smooth image if you've got moving running targets it's just going to be creamy smooth you're not going to get any juddering that's top end in terms of uh, frame rate like i said 2560 resolution eye display on these units uh, you've got runtime wise on the 75 mil model you've got the h model you've got five and a half hours off the battery on the S model, which is a 1280 resolution, you've got uh, four and a half hours per battery. So S is going to give you nine hours total runtime with your two batteries supplied. H is going to give you around 11 hours because it's a smaller sensor. Obviously, the, the HD resolution uses more power during its runtime. LRF, like I mentioned, is 1200 meter LRF. The lens is a 75 millimeter focal length F1 aperture. Sensor is a 15MK NetD ultra sensitive sensor and it's shuttleless in design on the 640 and the HD 1280 models. That is the Rico in a nutshell, the two flagship models mainly. Price wise, 640 model, it's around 47 I'm sure, approximately, don't quote me on it, and the S models around 7 four seven five seven six maybe you can check it out on the website it's a lot of money but for me the best value is the h75r model purely because you're getting the 640 resolution and you're getting 75 mil and you're getting the same 3900 detection range if you're shooting foxes in the uk this is the daddy so we have these in stock now we've got the h50s l42s and the h75s if you want the flagship S model, the HD resolution, give us a shout, we can order one. Uh, should be around two weeks lead time on them. But these are available on Blackwood Outdoors website. Finance available. Any information, drop us a message, drop us a chat or an email and I will try and assist you with any information I can. So Rico 2 series available now. Thank you.